Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can make a crystal ball that looks super cool in Photopea with just a few steps. So we're gonna get started right now. Okay, so once you're in Photopea, you just wanna choose any picture of your choice. Doesn't matter what size, preferably a little bit bigger, not like super small, like 400 by 400 or whatever. So something like 1920 by 1080 works perfect. So it's also good to find symmetrical pictures. So like right here, you can see it looks the same on each side. That helps with the crystal ball, it looks a lot better. But it doesn't have to be. Now what we're gonna do is get our ellipse tool. So on the bottom left of your toolbar, it might be a rectangle, just right click on it and choose ellipse. Now if you drag and hold shift, it will make your circle. And we're just gonna make it about that big. Move that to the center. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is hit Control J on our background layer right here. So it duplicates the picture and we're gonna move this one above the circle. So now what you wanna do is go up to Filter, Distort and Spherize. And I can see it made it look like a sphere. Now just hit okay. Right click on that layer and click Clipping Mask. This will make it like show up only on top of the sphere or the circle. So now hit Control, Alt, T, and the picture's a little big, but you can see here there's boxes. Just grab one of those with left click and hold shift. Make it small. So about like this. And then hold alt on one of these side boxes and then drag those inward. So it like kind of tightens it up a little bit like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We're just gonna hit that check mark now and we're ready to move on to the next part. So now what you wanna do is double click on your shape and we're gonna start out with an inner shadow. So go ahead and click on inner shadow, make sure to enable that. We're gonna start out with the blend mode which will be linear dodge. So go ahead and find that. We're gonna change the color to white and we're gonna change the opacity to 56. The distance will be 53, and this might vary depending on your picture, so keep that in mind as well. So just tweak some things if you have to. The spread will be 4, and the size will be uh, about 79 for me. It's definitely going to be different for you. For the contour, we're going to go with this one right here. So let's move it like that. But as long as you have these settings like the blend mode, um, opacity, the rest should be tweakable, and yeah. So now we're gonna move on to the inner glow part. So go ahead and click on inner glow. We're gonna add a color dodge blend mode, 60% opacity, and we're gonna change the color to white. We're gonna change the size to 27. Now the last one we're gonna do is a gradient overlay. So go ahead and check that box right here. We're gonna change the blend mode to linear burn. So click on linear burn right here. We're gonna change the opacity to 60%. We're gonna click reverse. And we're gonna click on this drop down menu right here and choose this bottom right one, the black transparent. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is change the scale to 90 and the angle to negative 122. So we might need to turn the scale. Okay, no, the scale's fine. Uh, let's just turn the opacity down a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to move this box right here to 50%. So how you do that is just click on this gradient box and drag that over. That's an important part. So I almost forgot. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's just hit okay and we're ready to move on. I decided to move this up a little bit more. So now what we're gonna do is click on your shape and hit control J. Now we're gonna hit control alt T and drag this top box all the way down without holding shift. And move it down a little bit to about here. Hold Alt and drag that side box inward, like that. And now click on that shape and take off all the effects. So it's just like that. Now what we're gonna do, actually we're gonna add a color overlay and change it to black. I should have made that black to begin with, my apologies. And move that down below, shape one. 
that's important as well. So now what you're gonna wanna do is right click on it, rasterize it, go up to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. We're gonna move that up until it looks like that. So 15 for me. I might move it down a little bit more like that. So, well maybe a little bit wider. This, you'll basically have to adjust a lot of things, so keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, I think, wait, we have one more thing to do. So hit Control J on your background layer. And then on the top one, go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and turn that down to like uh, 1.6. So there you go. Looks pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.